women have been challenged to take up leadership positions in the country and be part of the key decision makers. Speaking during the Nation Media Group's International Women's Day Commemoration Gala Dinner at Windsor Golf Club in Nairobi yesterday, the chair of the Council of Governors, Anne Waigoro, emphasized that women have a lot of potential to change the country and Kenyans should give them an equal opportunity as men. The Kirinyaga governor pledged to provide mentorship and support to all women seeking to run for any leadership through the recently launched G7 strategy, an initiative by the seven women governors to increase the number of women in leadership roles. I look forward myself to the day Kenya will have three, four women presidential candidates running in different parties. Because the men do it. Why not the women? Why is it so odd that you can't have two or three women candidates? For the first time, let us have a handshake between two women. The leader of opposition, a woman, and the president, a woman. You know, and people said that I'm very bold in saying it. I think it's about time that women stepped up to that place. We cannot be limited. Now, over the years, women have been denied access to opportunities that would have enabled them to live and contribute to the modern world in an equitable manner. The impact of this meant that uh, the ladies remained behind and they have been struggling to catch up and we've had various initiatives over the years. Now, I'm however happy that in the recent past, this trend has changed significantly and we have seen an increase in the number of uh, female representations.